Movavi actually has a couple ways that you can fade in and out music. So let's first take a look at the fade adjustments in Clip Properties. To make adjustments to these, I will begin by selecting the audio track that I want to fade and then left click the Clip Properties icon right here. And by the way, you can also get to the Clip Properties by simply double left clicking the audio track like this. Okay, once I've opened Clip Properties, I can now fade in or fade out the volume of my audio track by using these two slider bars. Once I make an adjustment to these sliders, it's automatically applied to the audio track that I've selected. Now the Fade In slider bar controls how long it will take to fade in from zero volume to full volume at the beginning of the clip. And the Fade Out is how long it will take to fade out from full volume to zero volume at the end of the clip. Both of these adjustments will allow you to fade the volume of your audio in half second increments, all the way up to 10 seconds. Important note, if you apply this to audio that's attached to video, not only will the audio fade, but the video will visually fade as well. So if you don't want this to happen, simply detach the audio from the video by grabbing it and pulling it down into a separate audio track below. After separating these, you can now apply a fade to the audio without it affecting the appearance of your video. Now let's move on to the second method of fading, using volume points. To apply a volume point, I'll right click on the audio track and from the pop-up menu, I'll choose add volume point. Another way to do this is by double left clicking on the white volume line like this. Now to create a fade out, I'll grab this volume point that I added and drag it to the point of which I'd like my music to begin fading out. Next, I'm going to add another volume point behind the last one. And after adding the second volume point, I will then drag it down to the volume level that I'd like to end at. Another nice aspect of this volume point fade out is that by looking at the waveforms in the audio clip, I can actually see the fade out I've just created. And that's pretty cool. Now, if I need to create a music fade in, I'll again start by adding two volume points. After adding, I'll lower the first volume point to zero and position to the moment that I'd like to begin hearing the music fade in. Next, I'll position the second volume point to the moment I'd like the volume to become fully faded in. Remember, the further these volume points are apart, the longer it will take for the music to completely fade in or out. Once finished, I'll have a fade that sounds something like this. Not bad. I'll also use this volume point setup when I want to fade in a song while simultaneously fading out another. This is called crossfading. To do this, I'll add a second audio track to my timeline, allowing me to place one music track under the other like this. Now, I'm just going to move around my volume points in such a way that the previous track starts fading out when the new track begins fading in. There's no perfect here. Just play around with these volume points until you find the sound that you're looking for. Overall, this crossfade technique is a great way to create a seamless audio transition in your project. With that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.